study, a scientist and physician by the name of Walter Cannon coined the term fight or flight. We've heard this, it's common. When the adrenaline starts to surge, the stomach goes into a knock, nerve ends start to tighten. We humans and many animals want to either fight, take on the piece of conflict, or take flight to the garage, to the woods. Some people it's to addictions, to the bottle, or some other form of addiction, regrettably. Fast forward to 1998. Dr. Shelley Taylor, sitting in an audience, listening to a lecture on stress, and she was starting to wonder, fight, flight? I don't see women doing that. She started to wonder whether women had a different response. She got together with her students, and one of the students said, Dr. Taylor, do you know that up till 1990, 83% of the research done on stress was done with males? And to this day, most of the research with rats are using male rats. Why? Because women have fluctuating hormones. They menstruate, and males are more steady in their responses, except when they get agitated, when they're in that fight or flight state. So Taylor and her students started to do some thorough research, and that's when we were introduced to this phenomena of, I'll show you the sign again, 10 and befriend. 10, men do it as well but primarily women show this phenomena. It's when chaos is happening, danger, some kind of threat, that women will very quickly go into action and gather the children around and make sure they're safe. Grab them, run. Well, it's kind of a tending with the flight piece, right? But it's primarily making sure that they're all right and then they're able to calm down. Here's an example from my own experience. It was about 15 years ago when my own father died. I'm the only daughter. I had an hour and a half drive, and as I was driving, self-talk in my head sounded something like this. Oh, Mom, oh, it's sad that Dad died. I've got a degree in, I've got a degree in psychology, and I can go, hmm, uh -huh, and I can listen, and I can look after you. Well, I got to the door, my mom threw the door open. She said, oh, quick, Patricia, oh, the neighbors are coming. The relatives are coming. Clean the bathroom, clean the refrigerator, and then make up the beds for the boys. She needed to look after everybody else until after the funeral and after most people were gone, and then she could take care of herself. That's an example of tend. That's the first aspect. Now, befriend. Befriend is that tendency that women have to talk, 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 talk. Often talk, talk, talk longer than most males. I'm trying to make it real clear there's exceptions to these kind of guidelines. Talk, talk to calm themselves down. I know myself, I'll run to the phone to talk. It has to do with the hormone oxytocin. Oxytocin kicks in for women and calms them down through connection. Uh, there's a very big link with this hormone oxytocin. Uh, it helps women lactate when they calm down, and they do that through connection. And then when the baby comes to their breast, the, you know, the, the milk comes. They also feel themselves calming when they are connected to another human being. Now, just a little sidebar: Daniel Goleman, in his book *Social Intelligence*, also talked about the phenomena of we are hardwired for connection, for socialization. So yes. Males, too, have the ability to produce oxytocin for calming effects. Let me give you another example, though, of how this in our culture has tended to be more of a woman's phenomena to want to talk and feel connected and heard to calm herself. I have never seen my hubby do this. Go to the phone, dial. I take it up and go, oh, Fred, you wouldn't believe what happened to me at work today. Yeah? The boss yelled at me, and oh, Fred, I just need to talk. Yeah, and talk. 
Oh, you're such a good listener. If I told Patricia that my boss yelled at me, he just, she'd just say to me, Oh, why don't you quit? Oh, I just need somebody to feel connected to me and to listen. Can we get together for lunch, Fred? No, I've not ever seen that. I will see. Hey, Fred, want to go down in the canoe, have a canoe ride this afternoon and go fishing? Yep, they agree and they meet. They will do an activity together. So, in conclusion, we've come a long way. And yes, we all have in our genetics this tendency to fight or take flight. And it's been proven over and over again that it tends to be males. Women sometimes do it, but women have these other two responses of tend and befriend. So unite women. Go for lunch and guys either get out of the way or come along and get a good dose of that calming sweet hormone oxytocin. <laughs>